Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 14. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about contacts, specifically with regards to a contact health score. So the KW Command system and the commands platform has a very easy way for you to determine how well you're doing with regards to entering all the necessary or at least very important information regarding your contact record. And that's via this contact health score that is shown directly above, uh, below, excuse me, the name of your contact. So you can see in this example, I have a contact health score of 60%. The contact health score is created by nine pieces of information. Four of those pieces of information are worth 20% each, and the other five are worth 4% each. And here is the breakdown. Essentially, your contact health score 20% items are name, phone number, email, and address. So if I get at least these four pieces of information, my contact health score would be 80%. I can continue to increase it by adding a social media profile, a tag, and that can be system or custom tag, a company or job title, either one of those will get you 4%, the lead source for the contact, and then birthday. So these five items are worth 4% each, five times four gets me 20, and I've got 20, 20, 20, 20, that gets me to 100%. So that's how I get to that contact health score. And I'll just walk you through kind of what that looks like. Let me jump in here. So quadruple A seller right now is at 60%. I can scroll through, I have a name, so there's 20. I have an email, there's 20. And if I scroll down, you can see I have an address. So that's 20%. So the easiest way to make up a quick 20 is adding in a phone number because I actually don't have a phone number for this contact. So let's just put it in my cell. There is my phone number. And now you can see our contact health score goes up to 80%. Okay. From there, I could come in and add a tag. So let's just say that uh, this was a buyer. I could come down and add a buyer tag. Click up here to get your list to go away and click on save. I now get to 84%. Okay. Next, I can come down, I can click on add more information. I can click on additional contact information. I already have the address. Here is a social profile. So you can see, you can choose any one of these four social profiles to input. So I could choose Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Facebook is typically the easiest one most people have. And in order to put that information in, here's my Facebook feed. I'm going to click on my name here at the top left. Actually, I can click on, I think it's my profile photo too. Nope, not my profile photo. So let me click on my profile here at the very top. I apologize. So click on your profile at the very top. And you can see anything after the slash is what I'm going to put into KW command. Okay, so in this example, I might, I would just start typing in Marty Miller. Okay, or I could copy and paste it. You see the facebook.com slash with the HTTPS is already included. So all I need is anything after the slash. Um, let's say uh, Randy Olive is my team leader and I wanted to put in his social profile. I could just go to his page. I would click on Randy Olive and you see anything after the slash is what I'm gonna copy and paste. I can copy that in, put in there it automatically puts in the Facebook and now when I click on save you can now see if you scroll down here is Randy's social profile link the cool part is that as soon as I click on this it's going to open Facebook and take me directly to Randy's page so this is a great way to kind of keep up to date with what's happening with your contacts by essentially kind of you know semi-stalking them if you will but just kind of following up on social media to see what they've been up to. It might be a quarterly call time and I haven't been in touch with them recently. I need something um, to discuss. We talk about the Ford sandwich very often, right? Um, and so I need a, a Ford item, a family or relationship, something to do with their occupation or dreams. Um, and I could use social media to do that. I also, if I wanna add additional social media profiles, I can do that by clicking on add more information, additional contact information, and then click on add profile. 
I could then add in their Twitter, their Instagram, their LinkedIn as well. I'm going to remove that profile. So now we're up to 88%. I can click on about, right? And I can add in the birth date for this contact. And now all of a sudden, as soon as that birth date goes in, best birth date ever, you see the score goes up to 92%. Okay. The last two pieces of information I need are something to do with employment. So either their company or their job title. So I can come down here in company name. If you've already been putting in company names, you can see you'll have several here and you can just start typing and they'll show up. So if this was Keller Williams, as I start to type out Keller Williams, the list starts to populate and you can see here are a bunch of ones that I've already put in. So let's say it's Keller Williams Platinum. I could also come over if I didn't have, I don't know where they work, but I know that he's a realtor. If I put in job title and save, you'll see just job title takes me to 96% as well. So it can be job title or it can be company name. The last piece of information I need to get to 100% is the sales pipeline lead source. So I click on this drop down box and basically choose, okay, what's the lead source that they are coming in from? So let's just say that this was a direct connection, somebody already in my sphere or whatever it may be. I would click on save and now my contact health score is at 100%. So my recommendation and what I do when I'm coaching all of my clients here in the coaching program is to do your best to have a contact health score per contact of minimum 80%, but let's strive for 100%. If you wanna see how your database is doing as a whole with regards to your contact health score, you can always come back to your home screen. And if you scroll down, you get to the database health comparison. This green line is actually your personal health score. So that's a combination of all of your contacts. And then you can see down here at the bottom how you're doing, right? The um, outside line is how you were doing. So right now, full transparency, I'm not doing too hot on phone numbers. I'm doing really good on email, not so hot on addresses or neighborhoods. Um, I have taught, although the program is no longer available, how to utilize Facebook to bring in your friends. I haven't found a program that can replace MailBiz, and yet when I did that, I got a whole lot of people's email addresses because that's how you log into Facebook. Unfortunately, I did not get a whole lot of phone numbers. So just be careful when you're doing your imports. I mean, obviously you do want contact information for people, and yet the more comprehensive contact information you can get, the better for your health score overall. So that's today's challenge, guys. Basically putting in your contacts when you are adding contacts to your database, make sure you're doing your best to keep up with the nine pieces of information that will get you to that 100%. Again, as a recap, name, phone number, email, and address, and then 4% each with their social media profile, tag, company or job title, lead source, or birth date. My goal for all of you would be to have over an 80% health score for your entire database, striving towards hitting 100 in the future. Guys, that's it. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time.